So how'd your audition go? Horrible. I was robbed. You were robbed? I was on the heart. I basically had the roll in the bag, and then this one-eyed chick blew me out of the water. What was the name of the movie? The Adventures of One-Eyed Betty. Hey, have you ever thought about getting a Hollywood agent? Then you wouldn't have to keep doing all these small movies. <laughs> Please, I can barely afford the agent I have now, let alone a big Hollywood agent. What are you talking about? You don't pay an agent until you land a role. Then what the heck am I paying Newman for? You should talk to Francesca. She was the talent agent that I almost worked with. Yeah, whatever happened to her? She was mean and made me cry. Well, maybe I'll have more luck than you did. Francesca, my name's... No, that sounds weird. Oh, that me amigos. Wait, why would I say that? I didn't even speak Spanish. Okay. Hi. 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 Why does that sound weird? Okay, you know what? Okay, just... I'll go with hello. Hello there, Francesca. Okay, you know what? Just call her. Listen here, pal. I am the biggest talent agent there is in Hollywood. I represent the finest clientele, including Orlando Bloom, Johnny Depp, and Zac Efron. If Miley Cyrus is not performing on your show, I will personally run a wrecking ball through your studio. Ugh, I so don't even have time for this. Jonathan, be level 229 of Candy Crush for me. Yes, ma'am. That's what I thought. <sighs> what is that noise? I believe you're receiving a video call. <laughs> Well, it's not going to answer itself now, is it? Oh, wait, wait. Don't waste my time. Um, what? And you're wasting my time. Name, experience, representation. Oh, right, sorry. Um, my name's Gabriella. Um, <laughs> some people say I look like Gabriella Montez from High School Musical. I think I kind of do, but I don't know. They also say I sound like her, but I mean, <laughs> what do you think? This is the star. I saw the new. Maybe we should ask Zach. I feel like he'd have an opinion because they knew each other so well. They were going to get married, I think, but then, like, they broke up and it was, like, really sad in this whole thing. And I don't know. I don't really want to talk about it. But maybe he'd like to talk to me. I mean, do you think he'd be into it? I don't know. As far as my career goes, I was in this commercial for this Peruvian candle called the Insta Candle, and it just smelled divine. Unlike Peru itself, which smells kind of like musty stocks, I didn't really like it. I don't know, I like the Bahamas better. Anyway, after the commercial, I kind of felt like it was like this one hit wonder thing for me. Can you be a one hit wonder if you're an actor? Well, of course you can, because I'm what you call Macaulay Coughlin. I mean, I loved Home Alone, but like in real life, if you're Home Alone, you don't get this big adventure, you get movies and TV. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Anyway, my representative is Newman Flukelhorn from the Flukelhorn Industries, although they're not really the best because after I paid him all my money on the first day, he never really did anything after that. I mean, I had to find all my auditions, I had to go there, get the paperwork. I mean, what's the point of having an agent if they're not going to do anything for you? You know what I mean? Anyway, so like, do you know him? Oh, that would be rude, wouldn't it? I don't know. But if you see him, can you let him know I want my money back? Are you done? Sorry. First of all, you look nothing like Gabriela Montez. <gasps> Zac Efron would have nothing to do with you whatsoever. My grandmother is from Peru, and that smell is the legendary Peruvian puff pepper, which I wouldn't expect an uncultured swine like yourself to appreciate. <gasps> McKellie Coughlin is a legend, and you would be lucky to have a fraction of the talent and what she possesses. And Flugelhorn Industries was shut down last week for scamming egotistical, untalented, bubble brain bimbos like yourself. Are you crying? <laughs> what was that noise? Nothing. Didn't sound like nothing. <sighs> Trying to then you imbecile! I told you to bake Candy Crush, not to use all my heart! It's very difficult, you Step it down! I tried to, but you can always ask your friend for one. <laughs> you think I have friends? Stand back up! You're fired! For my wife and kids. Oh, they work here too. The fire them as well. Out. <laughs> Fifty-six assistants this week alone. You think someone could last longer than an hour, but they can't because they can't handle the pressure, like I can, like I did. Everyone thought I was going to fail, but I didn't. Even when no one believed in me, not my mother, not her husband. Not even Betty Lou, but I don't need them. I don't need anyone, because it's me. I got myself here. I got myself here by believing in myself, and that's all a person can do. You have to believe in yourself, and no one believes in you. That's all. That's all a person can do. What are you still doing in there? We're in the middle of an interview. Every 
are you a Candy Crush? Yeah. What level are you? 352. You're hired. I need a new assistant. But I don't want to be a personal assistant. I want to be an actor. Listen here, Sprella. If you work for me, I can guarantee you the biggest auditions in Hollywood. But I'm not a miracle worker. You're going to have to bring the talent. Oh my gosh, I can supply the talent part. Trust me. You're sure you know how to play Candy Crush? You will not regret this. I promise I will be the best assistant you have ever had. You and me are going to be a great team. Cause we're all in 